Hi, today's video we're going to be talking about oil leather. Now also oil leather is known as the stress leather look or aniline. Now you'll see also the write up on our website to give you a bit more detail but as you can see as we look at the ruby red oil there is a lot more red with slightly infusions of black going across. Now that is due to the fact that we at the factory do not rub this, this is created by the tannery. Hence if we look at the burgundy rub off leather you can see darker tones, a lot more pink involved in the, in the burgundy and we do that by hand. It's also if you have a look it is a little bit more in the skin, it's a lot more thicker leather and a little bit coarser but that is the standard antique leather, a lot of people don't know that. Now. Oil leathers, the first thing you need to know is if you do have children and pets I really consider that you go look at the normal antique leather because I don't think it's as strong as the antique rub off leather. It's a lot more smoother and softer so hence a lot more is going to show up in wear and tear. Now this is the red and as you can see there's a lot of differences in, the, in its colouring right throughout. Um, we'll just get a bit of a close up. This is obviously on the Alexandria that you'll see on the website. Now we're going to go ahead now to the next scene will be the black. Now the black oil as you can see I personally believe it's probably the best black leather I've seen for a while because it's not flat or matte as some people will call it. It doesn't have sort of a greyish tinge which a lot of black has or like black shiny leather looking plastic and fake. This is a beautiful soft leather as you can see it's just so easy to pull up, just so easy to pull up. And please too, people, anyone who tells you by pushing leather down and the return and all that, how it comes up, it's a load of you know what. Um, leather is skin and it's basically maneuvers in so many different ways. It's, it's three dimensional, a lot of people don't get that. So please, if a salesperson tells you that, tell them please, tell me something else. Now as you can see with the black oil, it is an absolute beautiful, beautiful feel, shine. As long as you look after this leather, it's always going to feel the same way. It's never ever going to fade or darken or actually what we call grip up, which means basically it's going to get you know, very, very harsh and dry. It won't do that. Now I want to show you the black oil. We're going to go through the store. That is on my Madison, which I believe is one of the most comfortable sofas going around, and we sold a lot of them. This sofa here, you can see the black oil in its entirety. It's really, really a modern colour, but it can really come up as a antique, depending if you put studs or whatever else on it. Oh, if you make it into a Chesterfield style too, for, for instance. But as you can see, the black oil is really nice on the Chesterfield. Here's the Paris Glam look with the chrome studs, which we'll do a video on that later on. And as you can see, I really think you can make it either modern or a traditional look, all depending on studs. That's in the Chesterfield range. Okay, we're going to go through the colour range that I'm bringing in at the moment from Germany. And look, these are probably the best leathers money can buy. And I can reassure you that because we give you a 10 year warranty on it. So the price that we're going to be charging for oil leather is going to beat everybody in Australia. However, why? Because we're trying to promote Australian made and we're also trying to promote buy direct from a factory, which will save you a lot of money for this type of product. Now this is the, the, the ruby red as I call it, as you can see that we saw in Alexandria before camera is not going to give you the best definition but as if I zoom out you're going to see that it is gets darker if I zoom in it's going to get obviously a lot lighter you can see a lot of the distress features throughout the whole sample and that will be also throughout the whole sofa when you see it that is part of the oil leather it's a distressed it looks old but with that new quality to it next color is the brown that I have at the moment which is a coffee color it's a lot more of a tannier colour. I'm trying to zoom back out to give you an idea. But I have made a few pieces in this and it is quite nice. I advise this more on contemporary modern pieces, maybe a few Chesterfields, but more modern and contemporary pieces, more like club lounges than that. You have to see this sample to get the true understanding of it too. And of course we've got the black, 
which I'll be mentioned in this video. I think it is absolutely sensational. Black, beautiful on modern, contemporary, traditional sofas, and really, really good on beds too. It looks fantastic with beds. Okay, folks, the next samples are a new, new range that I have bought in. They're going to be a bit of a limited edition at the moment, but I am trying to bring it in from Germany in a bit more abundance. So this is the, just a standard oil brown. Again, on camera, hard to get a very good idea. It looks a little bit more orangey, but it's not as orangey. So you again, it's something you have to come into the store and see. A lot more in tuned colour. Not much happening in throughout it. As you can see, maybe a couple of marks here or there throughout the skin, but relatively neutral all the way through for an oil. The next colour is a very, very, very interesting one. It is the new Croc Brown. So it is leather, it's not Croc skin, but as you can see, a lot of detail right throughout the entire skin. Basically giving you sort of the impression of, a, of Croc skin, however, it's in a beautiful oil leather. A lot of different patterns happening through a lot of features in this. And as you can see, something that you will not find anywhere in Australia at the moment, I can guarantee you that. Again, yeah. just something really, really different. Now, I would suggest this you could make up if you want to make a very exotic sofa. For instance, a Chesterfield or like the Madison I showed earlier on. So something like this, even stools or for commercial aspects, if you want to be very different and set yourself from the rest of the field, um, you cannot go past this type of leather and look, I can create you some amazing designs with this. And very last, or second last, sorry, you've got the, what we call the Bambra oil. Again, it's a lot more like saddle. In, in its colour and as you can see again the camera's not going to give you the best idea it's a lot tannier all the way through and as you can see a few little distressed features more lines than anything as you can see across through here and again more I wouldn't put this on a Chesterfield but more modern and contemporary sofas that I make even for the home theatre the systems these would be perfect for if you want to get oil And here is the last colour, which I am a big fan of, which is the Antique Brown Oil. Now, this would be fantastic on Chesterfields, uh, traditional pieces, again, like the Madison or the Grand that I'm going to be releasing very soon. Uh, this is full of character, as you can see, all the lines, all the distressed leather look, the feel of it will impress you as soon as you touch it. Um, a lot of detail, a lot of character in this leather, as you can see. Again, if you're looking for that type of look, you cannot go past this colour. Uh, this is probably the most common of the brown oils you will see in the distressed leather look. So there you go, that's going to give you a very good idea of what this new oil brown is going to look like. If you do come into the store, and in a very quick uh, while I'm going to show you an actual home theatre design in black oil. Um, which will be going in the home theatre section very soon and that will give you an idea of the modern version of sofas what I would recommend with black oil well again thank you for having a look at my videos and um, I hope I've given you a good description of what oil leather is and what it's really should be used for and, and hence again you know as a builder of furniture I really recommend if you're not going to have you know kids jumping on it and pets yeah look it's the best leather money can buy and have and look however if it's an everyday use save yourself the money and the hassle um, get your normal antique leathers or full grain leathers but that's going to stand up to heavy traffic so once again thank you and to have a look I will have a massive range of oil leather on the floor please come down to 77 Burnley Street Richmond and ask for myself Robert and I will definitely take you through all the letters and give you an even more thorough description. Thank you.